Kim, good evening. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me well? Yes. Very good. Okay, so how are you today? Mm, I'm fine. Nice. Did you go to school today? Uh, yes. Okay, great. So now, Kim, today we will have a listening test. Okay, so this one, please look at your book. Can you see it? Uh, uh, I go to school. Can you see your book? Yes. Okay, look at your book. Can you see it? Oh, yes. Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, yes. Okay, great. So now, tonight we will have a listening and speaking test. So here it is. Let's start with part one. Okay, so I want you to listen and draw lines. There's one example. Please listen carefully. You are allowed to listen twice. Uh, yes. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see Betty? Yes, she's next to the pyramid. What's she doing? She's pointing at the camels. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And which girl's Mary? Can you see the biggest camel? Yes. Well, I'm standing next to it. What about David standing next to the pyramid? No, that isn't him. David's taking photos. Where's Ben? He's trying to get on the camel. Oh, yes. It's difficult, isn't it? Sally! Why? What are you doing? <laughs> camel! Oh, has she said? No, I think she's OK. Which boy is rich? He stands to that girl. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's whispering something to her. Yes. I can't hear him. Okay. Please part double answer. And girls, Mary. Can you see the biggest camel? Yes. Well, Mary's standing next to it. What about David? It's next to the pyramid. Is he the boy who's... No, that isn't him. David's taking photos. Where's Ben? He's trying to find a camel. Oh, yes. It's difficult, isn't it? Look at Sally. Why? What's she doing? <laughs> She's just fallen off her camel. Oh, has she hurt her head? No, I think she's OK. Which boy is Richard? He's standing over there, next to that girl. Oh, yeah, he's whispering something to her. Yes, but I can't hear him. That is the end of part one. Okay, so now let's check your answer we have here. Okay, Mary, David, Ben, Sally, and Richard. Very good, because all your answers are correct, Kim. That's five out of five. Okay, so for that one, I will give you one big star. Very good, Kim.
Okay, so now let's proceed with part two. Please listen and write your answer. There is one example. It is about holiday in England. You are allowed to listen twice. Here it is. Two. Listen and look. There is one example. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to tell you about our school holiday. When are we going, miss? Well, leave school on Monday morning, the 21st, very early, at half past six. So please don't be late. Can you hear the answer? Now you listen and write. We have to do a lot of interesting things on holiday. What are we going to do first? On Tuesday, we're going to visit a castle. Oh, that sounds good. Does anyone still live there? No, not now. It's very old. Yes, and on Wednesday, if there's enough we're going to go sledging in the hills. Excellent! I love sledging. Thursday will be a quiet day. There's a museum which we're going to. We all like it. Boring. Why go to the cinema? Now, let me see. Friday. Ah, yes. On Friday, more sport. What are we going to do? Is it football? No, we're going to play volleyball. Oh, I like that. And last, on Saturday, we're going to go to the shop, and you can all buy presents to take. Okay. Now listen to part two again. Please double check. We're going to do a lot of interesting things on holiday. What are we going to do first? Well, on Tuesday, we're going to visit Castle. Oh, that sounds good. Does anyone still live there? Now, it's very old. Yes, and on Wednesday, if there's enough snow, we're going to go sledging in the hills. Excellent! I love sledging! Thursday will be a quiet day. There's a museum we're going to. I'm sure you'll all like it. Boring. Why can't we go to the cinema? Now, let me see. Friday. Ah, yes. On Friday, more sport. What are we going to do? Is it football? No, we're going to play volleyball. Oh, I like that. And last, on Saturday, we're going to go to the shops and you can all buy some presents to take home. Okay. Part two. So now let's check your answer. We have here, Tuesday, Castle Day. They will go sledging. Then Thursday, they will go to the museum. Friday, they will play volleyball. And Saturday, they will go to the shop and buy gift. Okay, so for this one, you have one, uh, two, and three. So I will consider shop because they really went there to buy a present. Okay, so that's three out of five came nice so now let's take a look with number uh with the next slide this is part three part three i want you to listen there is one example so emma is looking after a little boy she told him about the people in her what job does each person do so here it is so hopefully it will not close here oh it really closed let me try to share it one more time If it still don't work, then we will just proceed with the speaking. OK. 
Can you see your book, Kim? Okay, so we will proceed immediately with part three. So here at this, let me try to one more time. Okay, so here, please listen. Oh, I think it will not, it cannot play. Part 3 Listen and look. There is one example. Emma is looking after a little boy. She's telling him about the people in her family. What job does each person do? I'm going to study hard this evening like you. It's important. Then you can get a good job. What does your dad do, Emma? He's a mechanic. He looks after all the car family. He loves his job. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Last week. He works very hard outside all the time. He's a farmer, so he lives in the country, but he doesn't have any animals. He grows beans and other vegetables there. I couldn't do that kind of work. My mum works hard too. Does she? Yes. She paints for all kinds of books. She enjoys her job because she has to draw so many different things. She's just done all the pictures for a story about a dentist with funny teeth. They talk when he doesn't want to. I can read it to you if you like. And I've got a famous cousin. He does a good job. What does he do? He sings a group. He's very rich. He just bought a new guitar and a new car. He drove me to college in it last week. All the girls were shouting his name. He got out. My sister's just started an interesting job. What does she do? She loves planes. It took five years for her to... She loves being a pilot because it's so exciting. There aren't many women who do the job, so she feels important too. My brother's good at his job for a newspaper, but he doesn't have a That's good because he can't spell. Writing and spelling is hard for me too. I know. He takes photos of famous people. He has to go to lots of football matches, concerts, and things like that. I go with him sometimes. Wow. Listen to part three. Okay, so for this one, do you want to listen again and double check your answer or let's check your answer immediately? Hello, Kim. Yes, so do you want to listen again? Yes. Okay, so here it is. My uncle came to see us last week. He works very hard and has to be outside all the time. He's a farmer, though he lives in the country, but he doesn't have any animals. He grows beans and other vegetables there. I couldn't do that kind of work. My mum works hard too. Does she? Yes. She paints pictures for all kinds of books. She enjoys her job because she has to draw so many things. She just done all the pictures for a story about a dentist with funny teeth. They talk when he... I can read it to you if you like. And I've got a famous cousin. He's got a good job. What does he do? He sings in a group. He's very rich. He has a new guitar and a new car. He drove to college in it last week. 
girls were shouting his name when I got out. My sister's just started an interesting job. What? She flies plane. It took five years for her, but she loves being a pilot because it's so exciting. There aren't many women who do her job, so she feels important too. My brother's good at his job. He works for a newspaper, but he doesn't have to write. That's good because he can't spell. Writing and spelling is hard for me to do. I know. He takes photos of famous people. He has to go to lots of football matches, concerts and other things like that. I go with him sometimes. Wow. That okay. is the end of part three. So now let's answer. We have here Emma's mother, E. Very good. Emma's brother, B. H. A. N. D. Wow. Perfect. Because you got five out of five in here. So that's another one smiling star okay so now kim let's take a look with part four please listen and tick the box there is one example here Part 4. Look. There is one example. Where is John's bed in hospital? Excuse me, Doctor. I've come to visit John. Where is he, please? Oh, yes. John's bed is at the end. I can't see him. On the right, next to the window. Thank you. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What has John broken? Hello, John. Do you feel better? Hello, May. I'm OK, but I still can't walk. So, can you do your homework? No, my arm's fine. But I can't see very well. I broke my glasses. Two. What happened to John? How did it happen? Were you playing football? No, I was riding my bike. Did you fall off? Yes, I was going too fast. And I did see the car coming around the corner. Three. Okay, so now here it is. Do you have answers now, Kim, or do you want to listen again? Okay, so please put your... Please tick the box. Okay, so what uh, has John broken? Excuse you. <laughs> okay, so we hear letter B, then what happened to John? Letter A. Okay, how about part f um, numbers three to five? So please... Put a tick in here. So here it is. Oh, it stopped again. Hold on, Kim.
Can you see your book now? No. Okay, so here it is. Okay, how about now, Kim? Can you see? Can you see, Kim? Yes. Okay, so this is continuation of numbers 3, 4, and 5. What day bought for John? Is it very boring in hospital? Well, it's okay because I've got some books to read. Here's a CD for you to listen to. No thanks. I heard this on the radio. Great. Who is John's nurse? Are the nurses nice? Yes, they're all nice, but I like that one over there best. The nurse has blonde hair? No. Can you see her? She's not very tall. What? And what about the? Well, it's okay. Yes, we had pizza, which was nice. What are you going to have tonight? A salad. I only had a sandwich for lunch, and I'm very. hungry. Okay, so now let's check. We have number three letter. Okay, oh, I cannot see number three. Okay, so A, B, and B. Great job. That's another five out of five. Okay, so now, Kim, let's take a look at the very last part. Thank you. To listen and color, there is one example. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. One example. Can you see the woman? Yes. She's making a fire. Shall I color it? Color it. Can you see there? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. There are three bats sleeping in the cave. I can see. Look at the bat on the left. Yes. Draw three spots on it. Okay. Two. Can you see the boys playing with the dog? There are two boys. Yes. Well, look at the fatter boy. OK. Now colour his face blue. Blue? <laughs> yes. Three. Would you like to do some more colouring? Yes, please. Find the picture of the tiger on the wall. Right. And colour yellow and black. OK. Four. Now for some more drawing. Good. Can you see the empty space on the left of the wall? Yes. Yeah. Shall I draw something there? 
Yes. Draw a snake. Great. Five. Can I do some coloring? Of course. The man's painting a horse. Shall I color this? Yes. Color it purple. Okay. Now, let's check your answer. We have here... Two. Yellow and black. Then the snake. Great. Great. Then we have ball here. So for this one, Kim, you got one, two. Oh, that's two out of five. Okay, but I will still give you one star. Okay, so today, Kim, you did great in our listening test. Thank you so much for your participation. So for today, you got one star, one big candy, one great job, and two big stars. Very good. Okay, so before we end, do you have any question? No questions. Okay, so thank you so much for joining our test today. So that's all, and see you tomorrow, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. Bro, ready with our speaking test. Okay? Yes. Okay, bye, Kim. Bye, teacher.